Hi! So, this is chapter 2 to my Intro to Human Anatomy and Physiology textbook, which I am using. I'm doing things a little bit differently with these chapters because I realized the first chapter was not in the slightest visually interesting after the first uh, section. So, I'm doing chapter 2, section 1, and um, I'm going to be doing it a little differently. So. I don't want it to be boring. And if you say and watch at the end, there's going to be a cat video at the end because I think that those would probably give my mind a break after watching them because I don't want it to be boring. I don't like watching boring things. So this will be very interesting. So uh, the goals for the chapter, I mean for the this section, chapter 2, section 1, are differentiate matter from energy, list four major energy forms, and provide an example of how each energy form is used in the body. Ah! Matter is the stuff of the universe. Solids have definite shape and volume. Liquids have definite volume but conform to the shape of their container. Gases have no neither definite shape nor definite volume. Physical changes. Matter may be changed physically but do not alter the basic nature of the substance. Chemical changes. Matter may be changed chemically and do alter the composition of the substance, often substantially. Energy is the ability to do work. Kinetic energy is when energy is actually doing work. Potential energy is when energy is inactive or stored. Chemical energy, electrical energy, mechanical energy, and radiant energies are all the forms of energy. Chemical energy is stored in the bonds of chemical substances. When broken, the potential stored energy is unleashed and becomes kinetic energy. Electrical energy results from movement of charged particles. Mechanical energy is energy directly involved in moving matter. Radiant energy travels in waves. ATP otherwise known as adenosine triphosphate, traps the chemical energy of food in its bonds and provides the en most chemical interactions in the body. Unusable. Energy produces kinetic and potential energy. The energy left over isn't lost, but rather is heat, and heat cannot be used. So, here are some questions from the section. Number one, matter and energy. How are they interrelated? Matter and energy are interrelated because matter is the substance of living and non-living objects. Energy is what moves the substance. What form of energy is used to transmit messages from one part of the body to another? Electrical energy. What type of energy is available when we are still? When we are exercising? Potential energy is available when we are still, and kinetic energy is available when we are exercising. What does it mean when we say that some energy is lost every time energy changes from one form to another in the body? When we say that some energy is lost every time energy changes from one form to another, what we really mean is that energy is unusable and is being given off as heat. Hi, I'm Mischief. I'm Mischief. Nice to meet you all. Yay! Ah, kitty! Ah, kitty! Yeah! Ah, kitty! Ah, kitty! Say hi. Say hi, Mischief. Hi! She's purring. She likes you. She likes all of you. Aww. Cute. 